Okay. All right, so good morning and welcome to Christ-Centered Foundational Yoga. Um, today, you'll wanna have a couple blankets or um, beach towels if you have those, a couple blocks if you have those, and um, a strap. So if you don't have a strap, you can uh, grab something like a men's tie, a belt, or a women's scarf, something like that. So um, we're going to start this morning on our backs. Uh, if you'd like to have a support for the back of the head, you can take a blanket or a beach towel and then kind of curl up the bottom edge of that to create a little bit of bolstering for the neck. Um, but we're going to come into like a star shape. So I want your legs wide and the arms wide. So maybe your feet are lining up with the edges of your mat. Maybe you want to go wider even. Taking those arms out to the sides, just take up a little space here. Palms facing up, shoulders relaxing down away from those ears with the heart nice and open. And then you can curl up that um, blanket or beach towel to, to fill the space in the neck if you like. And certainly if you don't want that under the head, you can, you can uh, skip that entirely. Just begin to settle in this morning beginning to allow the body to soften and relax. Taking a moment to just kind of locate yourself in this moment. So even though your body is here, maybe you are not fully present yet. That's okay. It sometimes takes us a moment to, to fully arrive. So check in <clears throat> any thoughts that are present that might be distracting you. Just accepting whatever shows up. Any feelings that are present or any emotions. Just showing up exactly as you are. God meets us exactly where we are. Then begin to notice your breathing this morning. How fast or slow are you breathing? How deep or shallow is your breath? And as you begin to bring some awareness to the breath, start to slow and deepen and widen your breath. Bringing that breath all the way in through the nose, filling into the lungs, expanding and inflating in every direction, to the front, to the sides, even to the back. And as you exhale, soften, release, let go of the breath, just clearing space for a fresh new inhale. We can only be filled as much as we're willing to be emptied. So empty yourself, not just of the breath, but anything that you might be holding on to in this moment. Just to create space for God's presence. So the last couple of weeks have been a, a bit challenging for me. Both of my parents had COVID and my dad ended up in the hospital in ICU. He was there for almost two weeks and they were really struggling to um, maintain his oxygen levels and stabilize him. And it was a very, very scary time. And I found myself sinking into some dark places, running down some you know, rabbit holes of what might happen. Um, and I, I literally started to hear God's voice saying, praise me. And I'm thinking, praise you, <laughs> right? Um, I'm struggling right now, you know? And, and I realized that when we can praise God, not just when things are good and good things are happening in our lives, but if we can praise God, in the storm, in the struggle, in the fear, in the doubt, it ushers us into the inner sanctuary with God. And so I found myself spending time in the word about praising God. And lo and behold, moments after I got the news that my dad had literally um, 
made significant improvements overnight and that they were going to be sending him home on Friday. And so it's amazing how these things can happen. I'm not saying that always happens that way, but the minute I was able to go into a space of praising God, I, I was given reason to praise God even more. So I'm going to give you 10 reasons why you should praise God, but you can add to this list. Number one, God's acceptance of you isn't based on your performance. Number two, God rescued you from a kingdom of darkness and transferred you into the kingdom of light. Number three, God has set you free. Number four, God knows all about you and loves you anyway. Number five, God has had many opportunities to give up on you and he never has and he never will. Number six, God has commissioned you to participate in the greatest cause on earth, spreading the good news. Number seven, God has filled you with his spirit, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. Number eight, God has made peace, joy, and hope available to you at all times. Number nine, God listens and responds to every prayer you pray. Number 10, God sees every tear that falls from your eyes. So what else can you think of? Certainly there may be other things that come to mind, but the word praise is used around 250 times in scripture. The word worship, which is very similar, appears 8,629 times in scripture. So as we enter our yoga practice together, let's center ourselves with Psalm 100 verse four. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. your right leg where it is. We're going to slowly begin to bring our left leg over to meet it or even cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Feeling a big stretch into the outer left hip, into the IT band. And if you'd like to, we're going to reach that left arm up and over to the right. But see if you can do that while keeping your hips and your shoulder blades square on the mat. As you open into your left side body, exhaling out an open mouth, like you're squeezing out the right side. According to Chinese medicine, our lungs hold grief. So maybe you're squeezing out grief and sadness just to make way for joy and praise. Really begin to open back up into that star shape. Just allowing your heart to be open. Maybe you can just find one thing to praise God for right now. We'll slowly bring our right foot over to meet our left, or again, you can cross that ankle over, feeling that stretch through the outside of the left leg and hip. And then again, maybe you'll reach that right arm up and over to the left, but try to keep the shoulders down. Breathing into that side body, lots of breath here. Squeezing out on the left. 
stretching the lung tissue and the intercostal muscles, which are those little muscles between each of our ribs that help us breathe. It's interesting to me that praise requires our breath, right? To, you, to form words to speak. So as you breathe, maybe even just in the sigh, there's a sweet sound of praise coming out of your body, out of your mouth. So they come back into that star shape and then just bend the knees, lining the feet up with the edges of the mat here. Keeping the arms out to the sides with the palms facing up. Just slowly tick tock the knees here side to side, just stretching into those hips and into the low back, just loosening things up. Keep your breath flowing. So exhale as you come to the side, inhale as you come back up. Exhaling as you go to the other side, moving back and forth like this. And slowly roll to one side of your body, just pausing there for a moment in a fetal position. Just breathe for a few breaths like this. And then as you're ready, we'll gently press ourselves up. So I'm gonna offer you a folded up blanket. So you may wanna fold your blanket up kind of like this to create a little cushion for your seat. When we elevate our seat, it helps to open those hips a little bit more for us. But just bring the edge of your seat to the edge of the blanket. And then <clears throat> extend the legs out. We're gonna bring the left foot into the um, inside of our right thigh. Now you can stay here if your hips are real tight or bend into the other leg and then just kind of stack that in front and simple seated. So rather than crossing them, they actually are more parallel, kind of like if you look down, you'd be looking at a paper clip. Good, and if you need support for underneath these legs, you can use your, your blocks to support the legs. So this can give you some additional support and stability, okay? All right, we're gonna start with some shoulder shreds. So lifting those shoulders up by the ears, sliding them back and down. We're just gonna keep circling them like this. So opening the shoulders up. Good, take it in the other direction. When we're in fight or flight, we're stressed or fearful, our shoulders lift up toward our ears and round forward to guard our heart. But also spending a lot of time on computers in front of Zoom, for example, <laughs> we have this ventral drag where everything kind of rounds forward. So draw those shoulders up, back, and down now, and kind of slide on back so we have a nice open heart. And then bring your hands to the floor. Good. As you bring the hands to the floor, continue to lift through the heart, lift through the crown. Your chin is parallel to the, uh, to the floor. And then on the exhale, draw your left ear toward your left shoulder, keeping the right fingertips touching the floor. That'll help keep the shoulder down. Beautiful. Now, if you'd like to, you can add a little bit more stretch by taking your left hand to the outside of your head. And just gently emphasizing the stretcher without forcing anything. Good, for that nice stretch. Maybe take your gaze toward your thigh and readjust your grip so it's more on the back of the head and then draw the chin toward your chest. Good, on the inhale, release that, coming back up, put that left hand down, and then bring the right ear toward the right shoulder. 
Just taking a couple breaths here, sinking that left shoulder away from the ear. Good, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the right hand to the head if that feels okay for your neck. Maintain the length in the neck, so don't just squeeze that ear toward the shoulder. Instead, move that crown of the head toward your elbow at the same time, so really get length. Then if you'd like to shift your gaze toward your thigh, readjust, and then bring your chin toward your chest. Hebrews 13, 15 says, through him then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. The fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Beautiful, release that, coming back up. And we're gonna do a few cat cows here, so gather the legs, tuck and round it out. Get really small. On the inhale, open those knees, bring the hands behind, press into the hands, open the heart, draw your skull back. Opening your throat here, ah, right? Exhaling, rounding it out. Inhaling, opening up, hands come behind, arch the spine. Nice, one more like that. And inhale. Beautiful, come neutral with your spine. We're gonna switch the feet out. So if you have one leg extended, just switch. Nice, and then we're gonna do just some little torso rolls. So we're just gonna round forward and around, just circling our upper body, but keeping our lower body fixed here. Just ready to open things up in the low back and the hips. Good job. Unravel that, going in the other direction. Feel free to linger if you find a place that's like a little sticky. Beautiful. Coming back to neutral. Take the hands back to the floor. Again, if the floor feels kind of far away, you can always place a block under um, the hands. So we're gonna reach that left arm up Staying grounded through those hips, begin to hinge over to the right. Good. Inhale, come up, float that hand back down. Exhale, come back up and over. Good. Inhale, come up. And then exhaling, up and over. Nice job. Come all the way back up, float that hand down. Reach the right arm up. Keep the shoulder away from the ear, so check in on that. And then exhale, hinge over. Inhale, come up. Maybe flip that hand down, bringing some movement to the arm. Exhale, up and over. Good. And again. Beautiful job. Good, go ahead and extend those legs out. Let's shake them out a little bit. And then we're gonna bring, let's bring that right knee in. We'll cross it over the left so that we're stacking our knees. And then keep your left leg extended, toes point up. Adjust yourself as you need to. So move that kind of excess tissue out of the way. You're gonna feel a big stretch into that extended leg. Good. Taking hold of the strap with your left hand, reach that arm up, and then bend at the elbow, bring that hand just up behind your head. And then we'll reach that left hand behind, take a hold of the strap, and walk our hands toward each other. Now, if you don't have a strap, don't worry about it. Just try to bring your hands as close toward each other as you can. 
Left elbow goes up, right elbow comes down, and then draw your skull back and lift up through the crown of the head. So you're nice and tall and lifted here. Keep sinking those shoulders away from the ears, almost like you're trying to drop your armpits toward your hips. Breathe here. Now, if it's available, maybe hinge forward at the hips and kind of fold over that leg. This can be really intense into the hamstring on that extended leg. So only go as much as you feel it a stretch. You don't need to go real far to feel it. On the inhale, slowly come back up. Release those arms. And then take that right arm in front of you, bring the left arm under, take a hold of that shoulder, sink the shoulder away from the ear. Good, just a little stretch here into that shoulder and tricep from the back side. Let that go, and then we'll take the right hand behind us, left hand to the thigh. Lengthen through the spine and then slowly begin to rotate your torso to the right. We're going to start at the belly, the chest, and the head left. So your gaze will follow the twist, but again, never, ever force the twist. Breathe here. Slowly begin to lift up, lengthen to unravel the twist, coming back to center, and then we'll switch our legs out. So draw that left leg in, we'll cross that leg over. Try to stack the knees as much as you're able. Flex into that extended leg. So you're sitting up nice and tall, and then we'll take a hold of the strap with the right hand, reach that arm up, bend at the elbow, bringing that hand to the base of your skull, and then Bring the other arm around the back to take a hold of that strap or just walk your hands toward each other. Again, right elbow comes up, left elbow down, draw the shoulders away from those ears, draw the skull back and lift. Keep breathing. These are opening into the heart from the front side and the back, just creating space. Space for praise to be on our lips, thanksgiving to be in our hearts. Gratitude changes us biochemically. It's been proven those who practice gratitude on a regular basis are healthier, happier, sleep better, have better relationships. On the exhale, begin to hinge forward. Breathe here. So can we replace our complaints, our concerns, our fears, our doubts? with thanksgiving, praise, and worship. On the inhale, slowly come back up. Release that strap. We're gonna take that left arm in front, right arm underneath, sink the shoulder down, just feel that nice stretch into the back of the shoulder. Breathe here. Just a nice stretch from behind the scapula. As well as for the tricep. Good, release that. We'll take that left hand behind. Right hand comes to the near thigh. And then lift to lengthen. And slowly begin to rotate from the belly, the chest, and then the head. Maybe you're breathing out through an open mouth just to help you let go of those things that no longer serve you, the things you no longer need. Just give it to God.
Good. Lengthen on the inhale and then on the exhale. Let's come back to center. <clears throat> Unravel those legs. Shake it out a little bit. And then we'll bend into those knees and bring ourselves to the front of our mat. So if you have some blocks, you might want to have some blocks handy here. Feet will be about hip width distance apart. So that's like two fists to the insides of your feet. Bend your knees deeply. Let your belly and your rib cage come toward those thighs and then let the head hang. Shoulders draw away from those ears, just dumping out stuff that rattles around in our heads. And maybe take elbow for elbow, swing back and forth. And maybe you just kind of let the arms hang and dangle like a rag doll. Just making sure that spine is protected and knees are bent. You want as straight of a spine as possible. And that might mean bending the knees a lot. Good. Bring the hands up the shins, lengthen. So we're lifting halfway here for length, straightening into the legs, but keep, always keep a micro bend in those knees so we don't lock the knees or hyperextend the knees. Shoulders draw away from those ears. On the exhale, gently fold out. Inhale, sweep wide, come all the way up to standing. Stretch through those fingertips. Maybe even find a little bit of a back bend. Press those hips forward, slide the hands back if that feels okay for your body. Staying strong in those legs. On the exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Plug into those feet. All four corners are rounding down here. Legs are engaged, soften that tailbone down, drawing the navel in, up, and back. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the crown of your head. On the inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, let the tail go back as the belly comes towards the thighs, folding out. Inhale, lift halfway for length. Exhale, bend those knees, fold. Inhale, sweep, all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, we're gonna do this a few more times. Let this Half Sun Series A be a time of worship and praise, like a moving meditation. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep, arms lift. Exhale, fold it out. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Good, last time, inhaling up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Notice any areas of resistance. Exhale, fold. Where can you melt a little more? Inhale up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Good. Pause here for a moment. Closing your eyes. Opening the heart. Maybe those arms come out to the sides with the palms facing forward. Maybe your arms go up and spread wide. Just a gesture of praise and worship. Draw the shoulders away from those ears. Long, straight spine. Bring your hands to your hips, and then we're going to step our right foot back. Pivot so that that foot is on an angle. Back of the foot is parallel with the back of your mat, or the edge of your foot is. Front knee is going to track forward with your foot, so don't let it collapse in. Instead, 
it's like it's moving toward your second toe. Okay, so an outer rotation of this thigh. Beautiful. Good. Bring your left hand, I'm sorry, your right hand behind, and we're going to start squaring our upper body off with the sidewall. Take your left hand to that thigh and begin to keep opening it. So we're trying to kind of press into that left thigh, sink into this a little bit. At the same time, draw your right shoulder back, open the heart. Yeah, this changes it, doesn't it? <laughs> Lots of breath here. I'm feeling it too. All right, nice open heart, open hips. Now let's take those arms out to the sides, not changing anything else. Shoulders drop away from those ears, turn the palms up a posture of just worship here. Gaze over your front hand. Breathe. <sighs> Grateful for these bodies, this breath in our lungs, the fact that we showed up today. Slide forward. And then release that forearm to the thigh. Make sure you don't dump into that shoulder or collapse. So press down to lift up. And then reach your right hand high. Gaze can be at the floor, the sidewall, or slide toward your hand if you like. Just gazing toward the heavens, reaching energetically that hand. Give it up. Let go, release. <sighs> Surrender yourself. On the inhale, come back up to warrior two. And then we're gonna reverse this. So float the right hand down, take the left hand high. Now you can keep that front leg bent or you can begin to straighten it. This is called exalted warrior. We joke around that when we straighten the leg, it's called exhausted warrior because maybe we need a break. <laughs> Either way, exalt his navy still and know that he is God. Exhale, come back up to warrior two. Then we're gonna straighten this front leg. Good, so we're still orienting our hips and shoulders toward the sidewall, but the legs are straight. We're gonna slide forward. We're gonna slide this right hip back at the same time. Somebody's taking a hold of our hand and gently pulling us forward. Then let the hand come to the inside of the ankle, thigh or shin, just wherever, reaching that hand up into triangle, lots of breath. Checking in. Lift through that right shoulder, lift through that right hip. Good, on the exhale, bend into your front knee. Let's come to the ball of that back foot, hands to blocks or the floor. In a low runner's lunge, just pause for a moment. Breathe here, just continuing to open into those hips. Good. You can bring the hands to the floor if you like. We're going to step that foot back and then press right back into a down dog. So hips lift up and back. Ears come to the insides of the biceps. Heels start to press toward the floor. If this is too much, you can always just come into all fours position and press back into a child's pose with the knees together or apart. Take a couple breaths here. And before we pick up that other side, go ahead and release down. If you're healing in your knees, you might want to blanket under the knees or rolled up behind the knees, but then just come down into child's. So one of the postures I really like in this uh, for the upper body is to bend the elbows, bring the hands together, and then bring the hands behind your head in like a little prayer uh, mudra. So David wrote more than half of the Psalms, and he was known as a man after God's own heart. He was a flawed human being who made a lot of mistakes, um, but he would come to God with everything. So whether he was struggling, needed assistance, whether he had messed up and was asking for God's forgiveness and to reconcile him back into right relationship, whether he was... Um, celebrating a victory, he always came to God. And in the end, he always ended up worship, worshiping him. The last psalm that he wrote, which is the last psalm in the book of Psalms, 
says this. And he says, praise the Lord 13 times. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And what's interesting is the word praise means so many things. The Hebrew language was very robust, rich language and very pictorial. And the word praise is halal. And it means to be clear, to shine, to make a show, to boast, to be foolish, to celebrate. So here we are with lots of different definitions, and there's more. But this idea of shining, making a show about our faith, to boast about it, to be foolish even, to celebrate it. We'll talk about that in a little bit more, how far David went with that. You might be familiar with the story, but we'll get there. So just think in your own mind of these defini definitions of praise. We're going to slowly come back up onto all fours. However you would like to get to the front of your mat, you can you know, come up and step forward, or you can come there from a down dog and then walk to the front of your mat. Good. Find a nice forward fold here, deeply bending into the knees. Inhale, press into those feet, sweeping all the way up. And then exhale, bring hands to your heart. Good. Take a moment to reconnect with the earth, with your body, being of heaven and earth here. We live here on this earth, but it is not our home. We are citizens of heaven. Be of heaven and of earth. Take your hands to your hips. Let's step that left foot back. Adjust your back foot so that it's parallel with the back of your mat. Check in so that your front foot is pointed forward. Good. Bend into that front knee so the knee tracks toward your second toe, like the middle of your foot. So nice open thigh here. Take your left hand behind and start to draw that left shoulder back so we're squaring hips and shoulders to the front. Take your right hand to that thigh, open that leg up and sink, but without leaning. So we're keeping our upper body stacked here. Good, feel that sensation. Nice open heart, open thigh. Good, then release that, not changing anything. Arms out, palms up, shoulders down. Gaze over that front hand. Good, can you be a warrior of praise? A warrior of faith? Good, we're gonna slowly begin to reverse this into exalted warrior. Again, feel free to straighten that leg if you'd like a break. Reaching. Praise on your lips, also in your body, in this posture. Can we praise with our body, our mind, our heart, our spirit? You're gonna slowly come up, back into warrior two, straighten that front leg, and then we're gonna slide forward. So left hip comes back as you reach forward, float that hand down, and then bring that left hand high. Again, your gaze can go to the floor, the sidewalk, or the ceiling toward your hand. Breathe here. Opening the heart, opening the hips. On your exhale, windmill those hands all the way down. You can come to the blocks or to the floor, coming on the ball of that back foot into a little runner's lunge. Breathe here. Nice job. We'll step that foot back, coming straight to a down dog or child's pose. You're in down dog, walk your dog, 
maybe. Or maybe you really concentrate on bringing that chest back toward your thighs, ears lining up with the biceps, hip, hips lifting up and back. Breathe here. Good. You can bring those knees down, press back into a child. And maybe you want to turn the palms up and bring the hands back into prayer. So I mentioned earlier how David took praise to an extreme at times. <laughs> and if we look at the definition, it makes perfect sense because the definition is to make a show, to boast, to be foolish, to celebrate. And so when David was bringing the Ark of the Lord into the city of David, he um, was dancing before the Lord wearing um, basically like a loincloth, a linen ephod, dancing in front of the Lord with all his might. And it's interesting because one of his wives, Michal or Michael, um, the daughter of Saul was watching him from a window and she despised this. It, it made her despise him. So when he returns home to bless his household, they have a conversation about it. And it says, Michael, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, how the king of Israel has distinguished himself today, going around half naked in full view of the slave girls of his servants as a vulgar, as any vulgar fellow would. David said to Michael, it was before the Lord, which chose me rather than your father or anyone from his house when he appointed me ruler over the Lord's people Israel. I will celebrate before the Lord. I will become even more undignified than this, and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. I will become even more digni undignified than this, and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. He didn't care that he looked ridiculous. He didn't care that he was half naked and dancing. He was celebrating. He was boasting of his faith. He was being foolish. And, and we hear him talking about praising him with tremble and dancing, praising him with strings and pipe and the clash of cymbals and resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We're going to slowly come up, slide the feet out of the way, and make our way onto our backs. Good. Keeping your feet about hip width distance apart. Find a block if you have one available. If not, no worries. You might find something that you can slide under the hips to bolster the hips. We're gonna press into the feet, slide those hips up, and then take the block long ways to support our sacral area, so that hard triangular shaped bone at the base of your spine. But don't let it go any higher than that. We don't want it to come up into the lumbar spine, into the low back, because that can be uh, painful and even dangerous. So just support your body here in this supported uh, bridge pose. Again, if you want to put a bolster or rolled up blanket under there, that works too. Good. Just allow your heart to be open. Maybe slide your hands down toward your feet, turning those palms op uh, open. Shoulders relaxing toward the mat. Feet are nice and grounded here, so breathe into this. Good. We're going to do a nice stretch into the hip. So go ahead and take that right heel high toward the ceiling. Let's bring some movement into the ankle first. So maybe you're circling out your foot a little bit. If you need to support it, you can always bring the backs of your hands to support that leg. Maybe going in the other direction. This also helps to drain lymphatic fluid back toward the heart. Also to drain our blood back toward the heart and brain. So helping with our circulation. And then go ahead and point the toes up toward the ceiling. And we'll extend that leg all the way out toward the front of the room and then gently release it toward the mat. You're gonna feel a big stretch into the front side of that right hip in this half supported bridge. 
This helps to free up our sacral iliac joint that is um, on either side of our sacrum. It can get very tight, it can even fuse. Um, they say by about the age of 55 in men, 65 in women, that joint begins to, begins to fuse in our culture because we spend so much time seated and we don't do things to release it. So this will help to release that joint, keep it lubricated, create some space. Also it's stretching our hip flexors and our psoas muscle, P-S-O-A-S, which is associated with fight or flight in our body. Go ahead and bend into that right knee, place the right foot on the floor, and then we'll extend the left heel high. Again, you can point and flex, or you can circle. Make sure if you circle, you go in both directions, just to even things out a little bit. This also, if you get swelling in, in your legs during the course of the day, helps to alleviate that edema, it's called. Good, point the toes up toward the ceiling. And then we'll slowly lower the leg, extending the toes toward the front of the room and then lowering it all the way down. Breathe here. Feel that big stretch. Sometimes we have to come out of our comfort zone, stretch ourselves a little bit. Sometimes when we're not feeling like we want to praise, that's exactly what it is, coming out of our comfort zone or out of what we're feeling in that moment. But it deepens our connection to God and it elevates us as well. It brings us straight into the heart of God. Then into that knee, feet on the floor, press into the feet, engaging the legs to lift that block out from underneath. And then slowly bring the knees in toward your chest. Give them a nice squeeze here. Rocking a little here, side to side, or maybe you want to circle the knees. Take your time. Knees to chest is extremely good for our body. It releases the hips and the low back helps to stimulate digestion and elimination. It's also very, very calming for the body. Nice, let's keep that right knee drawn in and then send the left leg out long to the mat. in a circle of the knee here. So just moving that knee around to bring some movement into that left hip joint. Colossians 3.16 says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. We're going to hold on to that knee with the left hand, take the right arm out to the side like a wing, and then slowly begin to guide that leg across the body, but keep the right shoulder blade grounded on the mat. To only go as far as you're able to stay grounded through that right side. <clears throat> Maybe you'll gaze over your right hand and just bring a little bit of twist, rotation into your neck, cervical spine. We always do a final spinal twist in our class because it helps to bring everything back to homeostasis to calm the body and the nervous systems, to prepare us for our final rest position, but also it helps to return our spine 
back to its natural state. Good, slowly unravel that twist. And then we'll switch sides. So bring that left knee in, send the right leg long. Circle that leg around a few times. Again, don't forget to do both sides, both directions. Holding on to that knee with your right hand, left arm out to the side, gently begin to twist. Take that knee to the right, but again, keep that left shoulder blade grounded, maybe gazing over your left hand. Slowly unravel that twist. Gather the knees one more time. Maybe you come into a big full body stretch, just lengthen the entire body here. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, out an open mouth. Maybe a couple more sighs like that, just sighs of relief or sighs of letting go, a sigh of surrender, a sigh of praise. <sighs> then as you're ready, begin to set yourself up for your final rest position. So you might wanna have like a rolled up blanket behind the knees, you might want a rolled up blanket behind your head, you might wanna elevate the legs if you have a bolster, just settle in, just feeling how different your body feels now. Psalm 95, verses one through six. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And to turn your head from side to side, slowly awakening your body, coming back into this present moment. Gather your knees toward your chest, giving yourself a nice hug, thanking yourself for showing up this morning. As you're ready, just rock to one side, pausing for a moment or two in a fetal position, position of hope, rebirth, new life, possibility. You have no idea what God is up to, but he promises us his plans are good. Trust in that. Praise him for that. As you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position. Take your time. Bring your hands together at heart center or anywhere that feels praiseworthy, worshipful. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for the reminder of the power of praise. When we praise you, when we worship you, when we give thanks, brings us straight into the inner sanctuary, right into your very heart. Father, when we become fearful or struggle in any way, when we're doubting you, Teach us that praise on our lips and calm our heart and our minds. Make way for us to see with our eyes what you will do, what you have done. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you all for being here today. Let me say hello real quick. Switch my video here.